rolling? <clears throat> Greetings. I am Lisbeth Megafig, intrepid explorer, seeker of the unknown, hunter of undiscovered creatures. And she's a real charmer. <laughs> Echabel, stop. What? The people deserve to know. You're the only one who gets to know. <laughs> I'm Lisbeth, and I have made an incredible discovery here on Snaptooth Island. But this is more than a mere expedition. My followers and I have started building a new community here. Construction of our settlement is well underway. What draws us so far away from civilization? What discovery could tempt us to start a new life in the untamed wild? Bug snacks! They're the most delicious thing in the world. You haven't lived until you've tried one. <laughs> it's true. Half bug, half snack. There's nothing quite like them. There's one now. I got it. I got it. Ooh. Good effort, Bilbo. As for you, I'm sure you're wondering why I've sent you this film. I've read your work. The Shadow of Grumpfoot, The Secret of Soylent Grump, Stellar pieces of journalism. Like me, you have a passion for discovering unknown truth. And also like me, you truly recognize your talent. You are just the grumpus I need to share my story with the world. I've sent you a map to our settlement. Come to Snacktooth Island. Together, you and I will share the incredible tale of Buck Snack. Wow, that's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused me? I had to recall half a million papers and give a public apology. All because your grump foot turned out to be a lost football mascot. We've been over this. It doesn't matter how eye-catching your articles are if I'm stuck cleaning up your sloppy work. You're already out of second chances. And now you're going to follow Elizabeth to some grump forsaken island? Elizabeth Megafig is either a con artist or a lunatic. Remember that whole mess with Grump Lantis? This bug snacks thing is just her latest delusion. Because I've got a working brain. Do your research. Ships go missing around there all the time. The place is like me before I get my coffee. Deadly. She got a little famous after stumbling across some forgotten civilization in Grumpsylvania. She's been coasting off that success ever since. This is absurd. Only a desperate loser would follow Lisbert. Well... It is a tantalizing story, if true. We'll just have to hear it from Lisbeth herself. Say you get an interview with her and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff or something. Lisbert, is that you? Oh, thank Grump you're alive. Too bad I'm dying, though. <laughs> what? Oh, it's, it's me, Philbo. I was looking for you, but uh, I got hungry and... What? Wait. Oh, Grump. It doesn't matter who you are. Please give me something to eat. I think there's a bug snack right over there. Could you get a good look at it? I know which one it is for me. <laughs> oh, oh, 
Oh, good. That, that one's pretty easy to catch. Well, you aren't me, anyway. <laughs> okay, do me a favor and take my snack trap. <sighs> its tracks come out of this bush. Put the snack trap down there, and then we'll hide. behind this rock. Oh, nice! I'll pick it up before it escapes. Oh, yes. I'm saved. Oh, this? Pretty neat, huh? It's a side effect of eating bug snacks. Anywho, I'm still recovering. I could use maybe three more bug snacks. I'm sure that scope of yours will come in handy. Skin and plan, I always say. Lifesaver, buddy. Oh, sorry, I was too busy dying to introduce myself. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I'm the, uh, mayor around here. Um, sorry if this is a stupid question, but, uh, what are you doing out here? Oh, you got the film! I helped Lisbert make that. I know who you are. 
You're the journalist. I knew it was stupid to ask. Vespert said you'd be coming. Hmm, you're a bit late, though. Uh, still, it's my job to show you the way to town. Follow me. Buddy, I have to tell you something. I'm supposed to take you home, but Lisbert might not be there. I don't know where Lisbert is. I was out here looking for her. But who knows? Maybe she will be there when we get back. I'm sure she wouldn't want to miss her interview with you. Ready to go, buddy? Ready to go, buddy? All right. Through here. Yeah. Hey, Wimbus. How's the farm? You're still alive? Thought you'd have starved to death by now. Nope. <laughs> I found a journalist. They're also pretty good at hunting bug snacks. I was gonna bring them back to Snacksburg. That's nice. Don't you wanna come with? No. Well, why not? I got my paws full with my ketchup crop. Without Lisbert around to catch bug snacks, I gotta keep us all fed. Uh... We can't just eat ketchup. Well, it's better than nothing. You want us to die out here? No, no, but, uh, but this garden is just so far away from everybody. Maybe you could start another one in town? Call this one quits? I don't quit. Now kindly leave and take a ketchup for the road. Whoa! Darn bunger! Get out of here! Ooh. Uh, stranger, I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. There's a pen set up nearby. Take my sauce slinger, gather up some ketchup, and use it to lead the bunger over yonder. Thanks, stranger. We better go check on Philbo. Check and see if Philbo's all right. Oh, uh, don't you worry. I'm a, I'm a little sore, but uh, I'll be a-okay. I'm just happy you're getting along with Wambus. He's having a hard time, and his wife isn't around much these days. So, uh, just see if you can help him out. I'll stay here until my brain stops hurting. I'm sorry, stranger. I didn't mean for Philbo to get hurt like that. He's right, though. I'm in over my head. I know farming would be easier back in town. And those shishka bugs and bungers keep harassing me. Well, I'll be cold and buried before those walking appetizers make me go home starving. Let's start with the fryer. Lure it down with ketchup, and then let me eat it. Bunger, 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 bunger
All right. Mmm. Tastier than I thought. Now, I want to eat those darn shish kebabs. Those pests are easy to spook, and they don't even like ketchup. Not sure why they bother with me. Figure out how to wrangle them, and I'll be set. Boom, 
Bungle, bungle, bungle. Siska. Siska. Woo. Ah, that's good eating. All right, last bit of business. They're too wily for your trap, but if you can get them all woozy and vulnerable, you can scoop them right up with this net. <laughs> is served. That's dealt with for now, but they'll be back eventually. Well, I'm fixing to get my old garden growing again. Oh, you really mean it? Let's get moving right away. You know, you're a pretty good hunter. Like Philbo said, it's been rough since Lisbert vanished. Been rougher for some than others. Uh, hey, I sure could use help with this tree. Well, best not to dwell. You hold on, I got this. Y'all just get along now. I'll catch up. Um, like, Becca? oh my god, is this squeeb really talking to me right now? I'm not a squeeb. It says right here on my snack scope. Philbo, personality type, squeeb. Skills, none. Friends, none. It says that because you wrote that in yourself. It also says you're a terrible leader. I... you... Uh, uh. Like, are you still here? Zonk off, squeeb! O-M-G. You're that journalist. I haven't seen a new face in, like, forever. I'm Bethica Winklesnoot, and I know everything about everybody. I love your snack scope. You and me are toads twinsies. I bet you've seen lots of great stuff. Let me take a peek at your journal. You lost your journal? No big deal. You can borrow one of mine. I keep them in my cave. Bring it here. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> what? That's my diary, you squeeb. You can pop off that. Way to play fetch. Okay, now open it up.
Everything you scan with the snack scope winds up in the journal. I have more for you to do, but Wambus is scaring all the snacks away. You'll have to come back later. Until then, you should get Bilbo out of here. <sighs> Let's get this over with, buddy. Well, here we are. Woo-woo-wee! It's a regular old ghost town. I don't know what I expected. Without Lisbert around, nobody would want to come back here. Oh, it's not much, but it's still home. Let's get moving. I'm sorry. I guess you're not gonna get that interview with Lisbert just yet. Really? Me? I mean, if you want to. Um, <laughs> ask away, I guess. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I guess I'm sort of like a deputy mayor. I don't know. I'm not good at most stuff, but I like to help out. Well, Lisbert asked me to tag along, so I dropped everything, and here I am. Oh, they're great. I mean, they taste good, and they make everybody happy, so what's not to love? Oh, Lisbert and me go way back. Lisbert was, is awesome. She always knew what to do, and she brought out the best in all of us. She leave me in charge of watching Snacksburg when she went out hunting. I mean, I wasn't really in charge. Nobody took me seriously. But as long as Lisbert came back with bug snacks, everything was fine. One day, Lisbert went out hunting and she didn't come back. I tried to step up and keep everybody calm. Well, technically, I was in charge, right? But uh, that didn't last long. There was a big fight, and then an earthquake, and then everybody decided they'd be better off alone. They couldn't even keep us together for one day. I honestly don't know what Lisbeth saw in me. Sorry, buddy. I didn't want to bum you out. Lisbert might be gone, but you're here now. Nobody will listen to me, but... But you? You're pretty good at stuff, and, well, nobody hates you yet. You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Once they're here, you can do some more interviews and figure out what happened to Lisbert. You should find Gramble on the beach. If we get his ranch going again, that'll be a big help. You could also go back and talk to Befica, I guess. Anyway, I'll be here if you need any advice. All right. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Get here. Oh, there's a balloon? Huh. You know, it, it looks just a little bit, um, exploded. But I'm sure we can patch that up eventually. Oh, it's yours? Well, you travel in style, buddy. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I I'd love to fly it someday. Just you watch, buddy. I'm still repainting all the huts, but it's taken a while because I don't have a lot of paint. Bye! Evening. 
interview. All right, but keep it short. I got work to do. Wham is trouble ham, farmer. To start a farm? Like I can afford that. Seems like you never had to pay property taxes. Oh, uh, what do I think about bugs and ash? They're pesky, tasty, and confusing. Well, they ain't animals, and they ain't plants. No organs, no seeds, nothing. And you have to eat them raw, or they turn to mush. Now I call that confusing. Well, when Lisbert vanished, I knew we needed a reliable food source. Without snacks, I figured I'd farm sauce as an alternative. Though we would have been fine on bug snacks if it weren't for Gramble. That weepy little rancher thinks all bug snacks are his pets. Philbo needs to shut his grumpin' mouth. Triffany is off somewhere poking at skeletons. None of my dang business. Well, when you've been married this long, the little spats just pile up. Doesn't take much to knock them all down. Uh, respectable type, Elizabeth. We'd trade sauce for snacks now and again, or plants for Dr. Batternugget to fix his medicine. Oh, that's the town doctor. You know, Egabel, Liz's partner. I couldn't say. She was off hunting most of the time. Dangerous work. Could have slipped and fell. Could have got caught in an earthquake. Could have got thrown in a volcano. <laughs> Seems like a waste of your time. If you want answers, you need hard evidence. Here, I dug this up the other day. I'm thinking it might help you find Elizabeth. Now, back to work. next time.
Rexburg is inhabited again. A surprising discovery. You. You are the ignoble journalist. Despite your lack of any and all useful skills, I require your assistance. What a meritless question. Now, my experiments were halted with the unfortunate disappearance of Egabel. Since the settlement's dissolution, finding new subjects has been vexing. A bit of gastronomic biochemistry. Never mind the details. Silence yourself and listen. You've likely witnessed grumpus limbs transforming into bug snacks. I call this process snackification. Under normal circumstances, this occurs at random. However, I have developed a method to direct the effect to specific limbs. It's simple once you understand the internal mechanisms behind the molecular dissemination of snack particles. <sighs> this is the snacktivator. Feed me strabby. Poke snacktivator in foot. Foot turns into strabby. Understand? Yum, yum, yum. Unbelievable. Very good. I will allow you to field test the snacktivator for the time being. I, meanwhile, have some very interesting plans for my leg. I look forward to working with you further. Song's nice and all, but you're scaring the little ones. Oh, sorry, Gramble. Inspiration is so hard to find. I just have to sing wherever it strikes me. Well, uh, maybe it could strike you over there. Oh, but I'd hate to go alone. Won't you join me for a long walk on the beach? Like a date? Of course, darling. It would just be you, me, and your delectable strabbies. Singing the night away until we drift off to sleep. No! Uh, sorry. Every time I go to sleep around you, my snacks just up and vanish. So no to all that. But the date's still a maybe. Oh, very well. I will go and seek my inspiration alone. Ta, my dear. Oh, calm down, little ones. Wiggle means well. She just don't understand you like I do. Who are you? I haven't seen you around here before. If you're looking for bug snacks, you best turn back. These little ones are my kin. Well, that's a relief. Sorry to be short with you. I haven't slept much lately. I'm Gramble Giggle Funny. I'm an aspiring bug snacks breeder. I'm not too keen on going to town, but I'm running out of room down here. I want to get back to my barn. Trouble is, some of my snacks went missing. I'm not going back till they're all home. If you want to help me, then I got a friend to introduce you to. Follow me. See that Strabby? That there's Sprout. I've been training him to follow my pointer in his buggy ball. We were in the middle of training. See if you can guide Sprout back here to us. <laughs>
you. Sprout's always been a good judge of character. Sprout loves adventure. Always got along well with Lizbert, too. Anyway, I'm missing my three peel bugs. They like to hide out inside little holes around the beach. Please find them. Those little cuties must be so scared without me.
<laughs> but, geez, you spooked them real good. They don't even want to unroll. They don't like being in your trap much. I still got two Queevils missing, but I want you to bring them to me without catching them in your trap. <laughs> Lucky you got Sprout to help out. Smother him in chocolate, and those Queevils will follow him till the end of time. I missed you so much.
Don't you ever leave me again! You did it! Oh, my kin are all together again! I'm so happy I could cry! Here goes! <laughs> I'm ready to head back to the ranch. Thanks for all your help. I want you to take Sprout with you. He's always wanted a life of adventure. I'm just holding him back. Sprout, your papa's got a job to do. All your friends are going to a new home. You're going with this nice grumpus right here. I'll miss you something fierce, but it's okay. You can come see papa anytime. <laughs> you take care of Sprout, or else. <laughs> Find the other Grumpuses, find out what they know, and convince them to come back to town. Find the other Grumpuses, find... Later! Well, well, well. Look what the snack dragged in. Oh, I wouldn't have come back if I knew you were here. That's so. Well, I ain't about to leave now. Oh, yeah? Me? Neither. Then I reckon we're neighbors again. Howdy, neighbor. I got my eye on you, Wambus Trouble Ham. You best keep your eyes on your snacks. Seems like they're getting away from you. Oh, Charlie, where'd you run off to? I've uh, never done an interview before. Um, how's it work? Uh, Gramble Giggle Funny. I look after all the bug snacks in town and make sure they don't wander off. I heard Lizbert was gathering up some grumps to be part of her new family, and I thought I could really use one of those. I did, but then they... Uh, can we talk about something else? Well, they're just the cutest little things, aren't they? I don't understand how anybody could look into their googly little eyes and want to eat them. Uh, um, well, they don't eat none of mine, and that's what counts. Without Liz to bring in snacks, everybody got mighty hungry. They done treated my barn like a grocery store. I held them off for a while, but I should have known Wambus never quits. Next night, I woke up to him throwing my snacks into a sack. I panicked, 
I let the rest go free. Broke my heart, but it's better than them getting eaten. I left that night for the beach and started rebuilding my family. Maybe. Wiggles a lot, but she's got a good heart. If she really likes me, she'll learn to love bug snacks the way I do. Lisbeth? She'd bring me lots of new friends to take care of. Sometimes we'd work together training my little ones. Sometimes she'd ask for one and I'd have to say goodbye. I like to think they're all like Sprout, helping out like little sidekicks. But sometimes she didn't get enough on the hunt. She always liked to bring something back for Agabelle. Can we talk about something else? Sometimes I wake up at night and I'm out of bed, lost in the woods. I think I see Lizbert out there watching me like a vengeful spirit. Can, can we talk about something else? I think I like interviews very much. Here, Lisbert dropped this in my barn back when. I never got around to giving it back. I don't know what it's for, but you can have it if you promise never to interview me again. Another fine day behind us. Howdy, stranger. I could use your help with something. See, nobody's figured out how bug snacks reproduce, but I got an idea. I think I might be able to garden them, grow them in the dirt, like plants. there's more to it than that. I've seen bug snacks crawl out of the dirt that weren't there before. Fresh and gooey like. Seems promising to me. All I need to start off is a root and a fruit. Should be simple enough. <laughs> Nothing like a campfire. Here's to a hard day's work.
welcome back. Now that Bilbo and Wambus are gone, there are way more snacks around here. Scan all the snacks here, fill up your journal, then we can swap these. <laughs> but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Bug snacks gotta sleep too. Gee, you really got them all! I knew I picked the right Grumpus. Not that I'm surprised. After all, I've read all your articles. Even if I don't believe in the Grumpa Cabra or whatever, your interviews were always on point. Good picks, too. You've got a way of digging up the truth out of the lies. But enough about you. Let's talk Bethica. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And feed it to me, Obs.
Good answer. You really get me. I know you're just doing this stuff for me because you want me back in Snacksburg, but I don't mind. If you really want to be besties with me, I want some dirt. Wambus acts totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. I want you to find out what he's up to and tell me. If you don't want to wait around, you can always just take a nap until it's time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Bong, bong, bong. Later. Thank you kindly. I'll get those bug snacks growing. You'll see.
suppose so. Even though we're home, the little ones are still restless. I think they might be getting lonely. After all, the barn used to be chock full of bug snacks. I'd be real grateful if you'd donate a few more bug snacks to my barn. Maybe a half dozen or so? <laughs> Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Angela!
hot. Oh, they're all so cute. Thank you so much. Hopefully my little ones will settle down. Maybe I can even start training them again. I've been trying to breed bug snacks together. It's been real tricky because they don't got any obvious, um, bits to them. Farming didn't go so well today. Soil's depleted. But I won't give up yet. I wonder how your day is going. Oh, Triffy. I miss you so much. I would hug your cactus facsimile, but it would only hurt me further. City folk just don't get it. Take care now. <laughs> OMG, Wambus has a fake cat. <sighs> Snacksburg sounds way more fun than sitting around in this cave. I thought it'd be relaxing, but it's toads boring. Plus, I don't know nearly enough about you yet. I'm just itching to dig up more dirt. See you around town. Bestie. So long! Hey, Wimbus. 
Evening. You're really doing it. You're bringing everybody back. You even got Befika here. She's awful. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should throw a welcome back party. Hope you're uh, having a good time, buddy. You should go and mingle with your new friends. Oh, hey, you remember Charlie? How's my little sprout doing? He miss his papa? Oh, of course he does. Maybe you should let me watch him for a few days. Oh, maybe even a week or a year or two. Granville, welcome back. How's the barn? Well, it's good and locked. Uh, great. <laughs> it, it's good to be secure. What happened to the snacks you were babysitting for me? Great catching up with you, buddy. Hey there, bestie. Good to see you. Finally, somebody worth talking to. Living here is better than that cave, but it's still pretty dull. Like, where's the drama at? Thanks for coming to the party, Beth. I, like, live here now? You started a party around me. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> How's the bug juice? Isn't this just water? Well, uh, it's, it's bug-infused. So it's about as strong as you? <laughs> I give this party a two out of ten. Howdy, stranger. Seems you're getting along just fine. Farm's doing okay on my end. Shindigs like this don't sit right with me. Feels like I should be getting work done. Welcome to the party, Wambone. We are not friends. Uh, come on, everybody. It's a party. Woohoo! Drink, mingle, wild. Be -be 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 doesn't this music make you just want to dance? With you? As if. My new bestie is the only reason I'm here. Wambus! Gramble! You two probably have loads to talk about. I got nothing to say to a guy like Wambus. That's so. I got plenty to say to you. Oh, yeah? Well, go on and say it. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you'd have let us eat your precious livestock, we could have kept together. They weren't livestock. They were my little ones, my kin. You lied and stole them away because you can't grow food for yourself. You think these walking vegetables are your family? I got news for you, Grandpa. Bug snacks will never love you. You don't know a thing about love. That's why your wife left you. I'm gonna do violence to you. <laughs> hey, let's let's all take a breath here. Don't act like you're in charge. If you had the spine to lead us, everybody would still be here. Don't you mean Trippany would still be here? Fine! All y'all gang up on me! It don't make me wrong! You all want Trippany back so bad? Go find her yourself! Well, that wasn't ideal. But maybe after a few dozen more parties, we'll all be friends again. Uh, either way, thanks for being here, buddy. Oh, hey, I just realized you haven't had any bug snacks yet. Oh, you must be starving. Well, here, have a strabby on me. Maybe we can end this night on a high note. Oh, come on, at least try it. You gotta be curious, right? Huh? How can you write about bug snacks? That's the spirit. Strabble! <coughs> Uh, are, are you okay? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I, uh, I guess you're allergic to bug snacks? Didn't see that coming. <laughs> All right, as long as you're fine, I'll, um, I'll get out of your hair. Hi, Grandpa.
ramble. Oh, hi. Find the other grumpuses. Have a good one. <gasps> I thought you'd never ask. OMG, I have so many hot takes. I'm Bethika Winklesnew, and I basically do whatever I want. <laughs> Let's just say I'm an information specialist. I'm here on vacay. Uh, unrelated fun fact, did you know that no international laws apply out here? saying if you got in trouble like a lot of trouble and all your friends turned against you this would be a great place to hide out forever oh, they're so cute i could literally eat them up and i do Drama, and then there's drama. We have too many Geminis around here, and I'm done getting caught up in social dumpster fires. Uh, hey, my cave was sweet. Plus, it was close enough to Wambus that I could swipe some sauce when I needed to. Rondo. That greedy little squeeb started looting the second Liz was gone. Then he tried to sell me her projector. So I like posted pics of all his little crimes, and then I got out of there before he could get back at me. What don't I know about Lizbert? Wink. Uh, Liz is smart and fearless, and she can see the talent in all of us. It's impossible not to look up to her. She's practically invincible. But she does have one weakness. Egabelle. Liz would go to the end of the world and back to make her happy. And if I've learned anything in life, it's that you can't let your happiness depend on somebody else. Liz and Agabelle got in a big argument before Liz went hunting. I haven't seen either of them since. If I'm being optimistic, maybe they're on a romantic getaway sorting it out together? Rob, I'm just happy to see your interview skills in action. Oh, and before you go, I think you should take this. It's the key to Liz's cabinet. The stuff in there is really personal, but finding her is more important than keeping all her secrets. <laughs> Sorry, interview's over. Don't let me down. Bestie.
Bethany broke her leg. Grandma got food poisoning. I couldn't help both of them. Everybody was shouting at me. I didn't know what to do. And none of that's your fault. What's the point if I can't help anybody? I could just sit here all day while everybody else is out there, all productive and happy. That's not true. You help me all the time. Like when I cut my paw. You only got hurt because you were getting snacks from me. You'd be fine if I wasn't around. Don't say that. I need you, Belle. You were there when the world was laughing at me. You were there for me during the worst days of my life. I'm here. 